you going, little guy? Whoop! Hey. Is this um? My neighbor gave me this cactus, and I think it's so funny because it's tiny on the bottom and big on the top. And this ta this cactus actually came from North Texas, so <clears throat> it's different than the cactuses around here in South Texas. So this is the uh, South Texas cactus, and you see the thorns are different. It mostly has a single thorn popping out instead of multiple ones. Although there's some that have two. But yeah, it just looks different than the uh, northern cactus. This is the northern cactus again. Move your butt out of my face, dog. This, I think this one's just so funny. It almost looks like a cartoon cactus or something because it's uh so small on the bottom, see? By the way, when I say northern Texas, I mean Austin, a little bit above Austin. So it's not actually northern Texas. I don't even know if they have cactus in, in northern Texas, like Dallas or whatever. I don't know. Ducky mostly likes to sit down here between my legs. He sits underneath me like I'm his mother. Kind of keeps them safe. Hello, ducky. And you see, there's Abraham. Abraham. I have one of those, those, uh, Serrano flea collars or whatever they're called on him. They cost fifty dollars, and they actually um, work because I never see any fleas on his stomach or anything. But I like the I like the flea collar idea because I don't really want to put any chemicals into my dog. It seems like um the dog the dogs and cats that I put the you know the flea medicine on their on their back or you give them the pills. I had a few um, have litters that have extra toes and stuff, so I think the flea collar is a way better idea. And, and it's supposed to last um, eight months. So $50 for eight months, that's pretty good. So these are the sea grapes. I just love them so much. And they're actually super easy to propagate. Just stick a branch in the water, and so we've been able to spread them around. And they actually grow um, grapes, <laughs> which are edible. So I love, I love the sea grapes. And look at all these pears. <laughs> this tree, to, these trees are so loaded with pears. Um, they're not really able to hold the weight. Well, they won't be able to, but. You know, they get stronger every year, and they produce more fruit every year. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're gonna get blown away. Ah. There's supposed to be some kind of Sahara desert dust or something coming. So my neighbor, I just seen him out for a walk and he was wearing a mask. I was like, oh no, is it another infectious disease? And he told me about the Sahara dust coming. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I really haven't even looked into what that is. Although 
on some of the weather channels I watch, I do see the pictures of dust um, out in the ocean. So, but I haven't really looked into what, what it's all about. These are actually daisies, even though they look like um, black-eyed Susans or some kind of daisy.